Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we finished off Demetrius's bundle in the community center after we finally found one of those chubs in the water, and now we actually have a brand new fishing quest for some fish stew, apparently, to uh, bring guts and albacore. And I did look it up, and the albacores can be found in the ocean, but apparently it's either very early or very late in the day that we need to go fish them up. So we're going to try our best to a star day very early. Um, we only have a couple more days until the end of the year too. These are our very last two days before it's time to uh, look forward to spring in year two. So I am really excited for that. Um, hopefully our last few seeds are going to be ready to harvest today too. And we have to take a look at the fortune teller because if we're going to be doing some more fishing today, I want to at least know that we're going to have some better luck so let's see um well that looks good the spirits are very happy today they will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune oh my goodness i like hearing that okay so today might actually be a very good day for like the mines too if we have some extra time but let's go ahead and take a look at this well i know a couple of recipes i thought i'd send you one maybe it'll help you mine more ore or something take care from clint he gave us an algae soup recipe oh my goodness that does not sound very appetizing does it um, we probably can't even see it in here. We'd have to go into our house to find that. But I mean, we do often fish up a lot of algae. White algae and green algae. And in fact, we did find an extra piece of green algae just yesterday. So I mean, that is something that we could consider if we do have an abundance of algae sitting in our chest, I suppose. Uh, but that's quite interesting. I wonder if that's what he eats very uh, often. He says he knows a couple of recipes. Maybe we should try to find him something that uh, he really enjoys. We could cook him up a nice, good uh, dinner that he might really like a little bit more than uh, algae. I mean, maybe he does appreciate algae. I don't know. Maybe it is something uh, tasty. A tasty little snack for someone who's working very, very hard on all of our upgrades and our geodes. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't sound like something that I would really like to eat, though. So let's go ahead and place um, all of our eggs in the mayonnaise machines because it is giving us so much gold just changing this over to mayonnaise. I am so happy that we made these. Um, and in fact, I probably want to make some more pretty soon, too so we could have four of them and then we can uh, just put all of our eggs in there straight away that might help um, and let's see, we'll place these in there for now. We do have an extra egg too that we want to uh, hopefully place in there pretty soon as well. But let's see, we do need to go all the way down to um, the ocean very, very quickly and it still hasn't grown yet. Oh gosh, it better grow tomorrow because that is the very last day. I thought I would have enough time to uh, plant those wild seeds, but now I'm starting to doubt myself. Hopefully it'll be like a winter miracle and all the seeds will grow in time. But um, let's go ahead and go to the town. Hopefully this will be a little bit faster going this way. Um, we do have enough bait on our fishing line too. I did want to check that. Um, we have 50 pieces of bait just about left um, to fish with. So that should be plenty to hopefully catch us a nice big albacore for um, Gus. And we'll see if uh, he's in today. Hopefully we can catch it before his uh, doors even open so that he'll be really, really excited to make this big uh, pot of fish stew, I guess, for all of his customers. But let's see, it should be um, the right time. Now it should hopefully be, fingers crossed, the right time to catch the albacore, not the seaweed. We don't need seaweed. I don't think Gus uh, really needs to place any seaweed in his soup. Though maybe, maybe that's part of the uh, recipe. Okay, this is actually a fish. Let's hope it's not going to be more of those um, red fish that we were getting before. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but uh, we did get quite a few of them. And there's a herring. Well, that is familiar, and it does almost look like an albacore, but it's not quite what we need, unfortunately. So let's see. I think we have about one more hour left of um, the daytime for us to possibly catch an albacore down here. And if we can't do it, then we'll have to come back um, after 6 p.m. and see if we can find it then. So what is this going to be? A halibut? Okay, we might actually need the halibut. I vaguely remember seeing uh, that in maybe one of the bundles before. So I will check that out. Oh my goodness, <laughs> seaweed. We don't need seaweed. I like how we're getting so many gold star fish though. That's a good sign. At least uh, Jess is getting a little bit better at fishing. And let's see, this might be like one of the last fish that we can catch before our time is up. Um, but then we'll just come back a little bit later if this is not the albacore that we need. Let's see. Oh no, it's another one of those. Okay, one more. We'll see if we can sneak it in before um, 11 a.m. Let's see, just one more. Come on, little fish. You're almost out of time. No, not seaweed. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, no way that that is going to be uh, fast enough. So unfortunately, we just have two halibut and um, one herring. Let's see, do we need to actually donate that though? Let's go to the fish tank and um, the ocean fish. No, it's not in there, but I swear I saw that somewhere. Oh no, I'm probably missing it too. Like there's so 
many different bundles now that I actually get confused sometimes on a where I need to donate what to who. Let's see, it's probably not in any of these either. And um, we did look through all of those before. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find it. So maybe I don't even need to donate it. Maybe it's just um, one of those random fish that we have seen around the town somewhere. Maybe I did get this uh, fish out of the ocean at some point and I'm just now remembering it. But that's totally fine. We'll just uh, sell those off for now. If we don't need to give them to the Junimos, then we can at least uh, sell them for gold, especially because they're higher quality. And there's Lewis. He's already uh, working hard at work trying to uncover his little uh, garden for the springtime, it looks like. But yeah, we'll go back to the ocean um, around 6 p.m. and we'll see if we can possibly find an albacore um, later at night because that was the other time where it could possibly come out. And oh my goodness! Look at all of these wiggly worms. I am so upset that I don't have my hoe anymore. <laughs> I am so upset. We actually um, gave Clint the hoe to upgrade to a copper hoe so that we would be able to uh, work a little bit more efficiently in the springtime, but we definitely need it right now. We definitely do. Um, let's grab our mayonnaise and let's throw all of this in the bin. We're almost at 20,000 gold and I think um, I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to get to 20,000 before the season is over. Yeah, like this might actually push us straight over that um, little limit there, but since it's supposed to be such a good day, I mean, why don't we go down to the mines. We do have a lot of time to kill. We might as well go straight down to the mines. Let me just make sure that we don't have anything I need to uh, pick up in here. Let's see. Um, I have all of the tools I need and uh, we could at least place our watering can and whatnot in here too because we always do that. Um, just so that we'll have a little bit of extra storage space basically. Um, and I should probably turn some of these eggs into fried eggs. As much as I love to uh, just place them in the mayonnaise machines, um, it would probably be best to take the extra um, energy and whatnot with us to the mines because we know it can be very, very tricky. So let's go ahead and just make um, a couple of these fried eggs. We'll make two more of these and then I'll place um, the other one, the leftover egg, into the mayonnaise machine instead. And uh, from there on out, we'll just cross our fingers and hope that we don't get utterly destroyed again by any of those red slimes. Um, I think we'll be okay though. We did pretty good last time. I think we did anyway. <laughs> I hope we did. And um, we did manage to get rid of 10 red slimes without dying, so I mean that's a plus in my book. We'll go to the mines though. We'll go over here and we'll just keep a very close eye on um, the time because we do want to escape the mines before um, we need to go back down to the uh, to the ocean. So let's see, what is going to be down here today? Hopefully something good because it is supposed to be a very good luck day. Look at this, it's totally empty. This is not a good luck day. I mean, I guess it's kind of good because we don't have to deal with all the enemies, but I mean, I was hoping for a little bit more than this. Um, let's place that right there. Will it give us a ladder, hopefully? Um, yeah, thankfully it did, and it gave us a little bit of a gold ore too. So we'll go down this ladder, and hopefully find something better than that. I mean, it's so quiet in the mines today. We have a fire quartz, I guess that's good. And um, we could break this open. If I had my scythe, actually, that might be a little bit easier. Then we won't be uh, using all of that energy. And then we can uh, grab this gold ore too. I do actually need to smelt our ore. I noticed that I have a ton of ore sitting in our chest, um, unsmelted, and that's not really doing us much good right now. Um, we have those little Goomba looking things in here. Magma geodes, yes, I love to see those. Um, let's get rid of these guys first though. They can kind of scoot over here. Oh no, I thought I was a block from them, but clearly I was not. Um, there we go, that wasn't too bad. And then we can get rid of that guy too. And I uh, grab this amethyst. Oh man, like either um, Sebastian or Abigail will absolutely love the amethyst. So it's a good thing that we're finding those. And actually tomorrow what I would like to do is go on a little gift giving mission. We'll go around the town and give gifts to uh, everyone that we can possibly find. Um, I'm pretty sure that we have quite a few different gifts in our chest that we could give to people, but it's actually a pretty good thing that we're down here. Whoa, combat boots! Wait a second, what can I do with this? Um, it actually looks like it's a little bit worse than my Firewalker boots because we get immunity, plus three immunity, whatever that means, on those. So that might be something that we actually just uh, sell to the Adventurers Guild next time we go in there. Now it's already 3.30 p.m., which is kind of hard to believe. Um, and we do need to find the exit. So let's see, if I could possibly just place the bomb like right here by all of these rocks, then maybe we'll get another ladder. Um, I don't think we did. Oh no, but we did get another one of those uh, geodes, so that's good. And I'm pretty sure the geodes, the magma geodes, were um, one of the rarest, or at least that's what it told us on um, the TV. 
So let's see, if we could just find the ladder though, that would be excellent. It would be nice to get a little bit lower too. Um, There we go, I'll scoot down there before the uh, bat can really get to me. He did hit me once, but um, at least we didn't have to fight him. And then we can go over here and grab up all of this quartz too, because we know that Emily loves the quartz. Um, I wonder if she would like the fire quartz too. I mean, it is a type of quartz and she really did seem to love the uh, regular quartz. So we might actually give that a try as well. Um, I don't know if we'll give it a try on our gift giving day because I would like to make sure that everyone is quite happy with us <laughs> on the end of the season. Um, leading the year off in a good way at least, a positive way. And let's see, let's get rid of this little bat. There we go. It's kind of nice too because the seasons in Stardew Valley right now are really in line with the seasons in real life because of course we have the holidays so close by and um, now the end of the year as well. So that's been kind of cool to play through. Um, previously, it was not that way. We had uh, spring and summer and completely different uh, seasons, if you guys were following way back then. So this is really neat that we've managed to kind of catch up. Of course, we're going to be completely off uh, kilter again once it is the springtime and we'll be in the thick of uh, winter in real life. But I have a lot of enemies here. Oh my goodness. And it is six o'clock. I just noticed it's almost six o'clock anyway. So we actually have to get out of here. And I just cornered myself. No, just don't do that. Don't corner yourself. Want to eat a fried egg? <laughs> that would have been terrible. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys at least so that we can um, pick up the loot. And then we are getting straight out of here because they can give us uh, the void essence. And I do believe that we can sell that for um, a pretty decent amount. And since we're trying to get um, enough gold to last us through the spring season, we might as well just do that. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I thought that guy couldn't get out, but he did. <laughs> he snuck out. These guys are really confusing me today, apparently. But there we go. We're out of the mines now and we can zip as fast as we can to um, the ocean. So wait a second. Our pockets are kind of full, aren't they? Oh dear, let's uh, go back to our um, our farm first. We'll go to the bus stop and then we'll go to the farm and just drop these things off. Otherwise, I am not going to have enough room to even catch an albacore and that will be such a disappointment. Oh man, I really hope that we can get one for Gus too because I'm going to feel very, very bad. I mean, I know he kind of apologized for being so late. Um, he did say that it's almost out of season as it is, so it's kind of a, a late one for us to go scrambling around trying to get, but I really want to help him because we don't really communicate with Gus very much, do we? Like, that's another one that we really need to find some sort of gift that he would enjoy. And I'm sure it's uh, food related. It just feels like that would be um, most likely. We have four amethysts too. I didn't realize we had so many. We have a lot of different minerals in here that I know um, some of the townspeople would like. And um, I guess uh, we'll keep the magma geodes on us for now, as well as our combat boots. Um, we do want to sell those off. And I believe the boots we need to take to um, the Adventurous Guild. But um, I think that's it now. We'll just go back to the beach before it gets way too late. Um, let's get our fiberglass route out again. Hopefully we can upgrade this pretty soon too. I mean, we've been doing so much fishing lately. It would make sense if uh, Willie would have a little bit more in his stocks. But we'll go over to the town. Um, hopefully this is a little bit quicker too. Hopefully I didn't just mess myself up by doing that. There's Clint. He's probably going off to the saloon today. Um, let Gus know that I'm still on the job, Clint, okay? Let him know for us because I have a feeling he's a little bit worried that we might not be able to get his fish for him. And he's probably really looking forward to making that fish stew for um, all of the townspeople. But let's go down here. We'll light up the area a little bit because it is quite dark over on this dock. Um, there we go. We'll just put a couple of torches down here and then uh, we'll go ahead and fish and hopefully we can find some. I believe it was after um, 6 p.m. that the albacore come back out again, either like very early in the morning or very late at night to catch these guys. So we must have uh, met them at just the right time before when I had caught them previously. But let's see. Can I get this guy? Can I get this guy? Oh man, he's a little bit tricky, but um, not as bad as the one that we found in the water in the last episode. No, not that guy again. <laughs> we have seen so many of those. We don't need that one. Um, we need the albacore. And I'm sure that they're in the ocean. I am 100% sure that they're in the ocean. I do remember catching them over here before. Uh, particularly when we were looking for um, different types of fish. Like we've never actually needed an albacore before, I don't think. Let's see. There it is. Yes. Perfect, and it's a gold star one. Oh, Gus, you're going to be so happy with us. And thankfully, Gus keeps his doors open quite late since he runs the saloon. So he should be there waiting for us with open arms. So excited to get his little fish and uh, start making his fish stew. Maybe he could make it for a supper too for everyone in here. That would be pretty cool. Let's see, Gus, you are going to be so happy. Look what I have for you. It's a beautiful fish too. I really like those colors. Here you go, Gus. 
<laughs> He's sniffing it. What's that? Something smells like albacore. Aha, you brought it. Thanks a million. You're welcome, Gus. And it looks like he um, got another little heart from us, too, for that. Hi there, Jess. I'm always glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Oh, thank you, Gus. So he's uh, very, very pleased with us, at least. That's good to see. And let's see, where is he actually on our ladder here? He must be a little bit higher. Yeah, he is. He's moving up a little bit higher. It's just Pierre and uh, the dwarf now, which I still need to uh, to go visit again. We were just in the mines. I could have done that if I had only uh, brought him a gift. We need to figure out what he would actually like. I mean, what would a dwarf like? I'm not sure. He sells all sorts of potions and bombs and whatnot. There has to be something that we could give him. I'm renting my room from Marnie at a really good price. It's small, but I can't complain. Yeah, he's told us that before too, I remember that. We should probably go visit him someday and uh, see how he is up there. Um, should we try giving this to Willy too? Let's see if he likes our uh, catch of the day. A gift, thanks. Well, I mean, not really. He's not too impressed by it, which is a bit unfortunate because he is like the local fisherman. So if it was a really good fish, then he would be the one to show it to. Ah, uh, nothing's better than kicking back with a cold one after a relaxing day fishing. Well, we kind of spent our day in the same way, didn't we? That's kind of cool. And then uh, Clint back here, he had his birthday yesterday. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Oh, Clint, he's always so upset too. He was really kind of like depressed on the Feast of the Winter Star. And it seems like it hasn't really gotten any better, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, he does seem to have a little bit of a thing for Emily, too. We have given him, uh, well, we've given her some gifts from him as quests, and it seems like, uh, he really wants her attention, but he doesn't really know how to go about doing it in all of these worms again. Oh my gosh, I wish I had my hoe so I could knock those all up. Um, I guess tomorrow, though, we can come back and do that because tomorrow Clint should be done. Um, fixing up our brand new hose. So that'll be good. And tomorrow is also going to be the very, very last day of uh, winter here. So please, little seeds, please finish growing. <laughs> we need the extra money, right? And it looks like I sold off everything that I possibly could in here today. Um, we just have those combat boots to hopefully give to the Adventurers Guild in uh, maybe the next episode if we have the time. And of course, all of these magma geodes to crack open too. I'm sure Clint is going to enjoy that at least. He'll have a lot of work to do. And Daisy is still curled up right next to um, our little um, slightly festive, I guess, display here as, as best as we could get anyway. This is as good as we could do on a such short notice. Maybe next time, next year, when the Feast of the Winter Star comes around, maybe we'll have some more decorations to put up, some more festive things to place up there. And maybe we'll also have a uh, right end to our sloth skeleton as well. Hopefully, fingers crossed, so that we don't have this unfinished uh, thing just sitting in our room forever. But we might as well tuck just into bed for now and then in the next episode it'll be the very last day of winter and the very last day of year one so i am really excited to get started on that thank you all so much for watching today and i'll see you all next time bye guys